South Africa's ruling African National Congress has started voting for a new leader to replace President Jacob Zuma. It's a tight race between his former wife and his deputy. The vote at the ANC's National Conference follows a bitter dispute over a decision to exclude almost a tenth of delegates who the party ruled weren't properly accredited. Bloomberg's Amo Mbatha joins us now from South Africa. Amo, how is the, uh, the spirit of this conference as the delegates start and continue to vote here? Well, there's been a lot of singing within the hall itself where the delegates have converged just to elect their new leadership and also to discuss policy amendments uh, for the party and for government. But despite uh, the conference going ahead as planned, it does seem that there are stark divisions between the two sides, the one being of the Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa and, of course, the other being of Dr. Nkosazana Nazamini Zuma, who is also the former African Union chairwoman, as well as President Jacob Zuma as former wife, as you said. And Amo, when can we expect to get an election result? The timing of all of this seemed to be shifting over the weekend, so bring us up to date. Well, voting began early hours of Monday morning. And at this point in time, they've said that they've passed the halfway mark in terms of the number of delegates that will be casting that secret ballot. The results are expected sometime early afternoon. And, of course, those will be delivered in an open session. So the announcement will be made in, in, in a public way where the media will be covering it and the whole world will be able to know exactly who will be leading the African National Congress along with the delegates themselves. How are you seeing, Amo, the, the markets reacting to what's going on there? Well, this has been a very closely monitored race, um, the implications of which are quite uh, big for the country. We know that uh, Deputy President Ramaphosa has really put the economy at the center of his campaign, whereas Dr. Zamini Zuma has said that unifying the party is critical to her campaign. The rand has advanced to three-month highs against the U.S. dollar, just on traders betting that the Deputy President will win the, the, this race after he gained more branch nominations than Zamini Zuma herself. So it seems as though the market is really watching this closely and we'll see a more profound reaction once the announcement has been made later today.